Hey guys, so this week is for the YouTube Artist Collective, the theme Zodiacs, and this video is officially about a month late. I didn't decide to join in on this prompt until after their videos had already gone up, and I was like, okay, this actually sounds like fun, I, I want to do this, and it took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. But I had this idea of Aquarius, which is my sign, um, living in this world of fountains, which was sort of inspired by Pearl from Steven Universe, like her room is made out of fountains. And um, I thought something like that would be kind of neat and pretty. Um, so, yeah, um, I had a lot of trouble sketching this, though, and getting the right size and proportion, which the proportions on her are still pretty wrong, and I kind of knew that whenever I was um, painting it, but I was like, I'm not going to fuss with this anymore. I'd probably need, like, a larger sheet of paper in order to get everything exactly how I would prefer it to be. Because I wanted the world to seem pretty big, like, for her to be relatively small on the on the paper. So she had to be kind of small. And there's something about drawing figures pretty small that starts to really mess me up in terms of my proportions. I don't know if that makes sense, but the smaller I get, the weirder my proportions start to be. I don't know. Um... It, with detailed pieces anyway. Um, so I'm doing this on, I believe it's Strathmore watercolor paper, like cold press. Like I think it's their, mm, their cheaper one. I don't know. I picked this up as a quick replacement after I ran out of my last watercolor paper. Um, it's not exactly my favorite, but it works. <laughs> Um, so for the color palette, I had a rough idea in my mind what I wanted. I knew I wanted like a balance of pink and blue and I was actually pretty proud of myself because I got it a lot better than what I thought I was going to. I also added in some green just to add a little bit more variation because everything started to look a little bit too similar, but yeah, I was kind of proud of, like I said, I was kind of proud of myself because I do really like these colors. I wanted everything to have a bit of an iridescent, pretty magical look. And this was another reason why I made the background dark. Like, I wanted the background to be dark to kind of give off this feeling that the world is bigger than what I'm showing here. Like, make it a bit more mysterious. Like, we don't know what all is here, but we have a couple of these um, fountains in the forefront that we can see. So, a part of it was a mystery element, and also because the foreground was pretty light, so I wanted that contrast. And normally I don't make dark backgrounds, but I kind of want to do it more, because I'm always afraid of dark backgrounds. So, normally I'll have, like, a light foreground and an even lighter background or something, but I do like how this how this looks. Um, I wanted it to have a bit of a galaxy look, so I tried to like do these washes of dark, dark blue and add some water to kind of spread around the paint and then I would put some pink and then I'd put even more water to kind of spread that around and get a bit of a splotch effect. But it didn't quite go as well as I had hoped. I was getting kind of too small, too precise of splotches. I kind of wanted them to spread out a little bit more. Um, I probably would have had to have used more water, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But, like, it doesn't look bad. But at first I thought it was going to look a little bit distracting because it wasn't going quite how I envisioned. So, there's no really 
interesting news to talk about. I know I said in my last video, which was the Ardax Alliance one, that things were going to be a little bit um, spotty because I'm kind of busy right now, so I'm just only getting out videos whenever it's most convenient. <laughs> um, I kind of hate, like I said, I kind of hate doing that, but I know that other things need done first, so it's unfortunate. <laughs> but I do have like some video ideas that I want to do, because I want to shake up my channel just a little bit, like not just have speed paints. Um, because I know those can kind of get a little bit old, even though they're, like, I'm creating the art anyway, so I'm like, I might as well just film it for YouTube. But I want to, um, and a couple of ideas that I'm having are, I kind of want to do, like, a lesser expensive art supply, like, suggestion thing, like, kind of like art supplies for people who are maybe just beginning, like, or maybe not just just beginning, but somewhat more beginning artists that want to know what are some, like, decent art supplies and sketching supplies that they can use that aren't really going to exactly break the bank kind of thing. Um, you might have, re you might recall me mentioning this on my Instagram if you follow me over there, um, and I kind of had to drop it, like I started filming and then I had to drop it whenever I got a little bit busier, especially since I started using my phone to record and that kind of threw me for a loop because I had to figure out how to use it to film, which I wouldn't have wanted to have filmed it on my phone, any uh, my camera anyway, because my phone is honestly better than my last camera, but yeah. So that was one idea. And then I want to do like a pros and cons of doing fan art video, but I wanted to wait until I had some fan art to draw before I did that. Um, I really like, I really like videos where there's like a subject to talk about and like opinions and stuff. Sometimes I do tend to kind of chicken out because sometimes I'm like, uh, I don't know if this is like... Like, one part of me likes to, like, really give my opinion. The other part of me is kind of, like, afraid and I kind of chicken out a little bit. Um, as well as, sometimes I almost feel like I almost have to be heated to, or at least, like, have it really on my mind. But I just haven't, there just hasn't really been anything that I've been, like, dying to talk about sort of thing, um, especially since a lot of subjects get covered really well, almost to the point of being beaten to death, like, um, not to exactly rip on people who make, still make videos about this, but sometimes I'll see subjects that people are giving their opinions on, and I'm like, this has really been overdone, and this isn't even really so much of, is like, is this still, like, a debate or still, like, a a thing? Do people still, like, believe this, like, kind of thing? Um, it feels, like, kind of, like, old news. Uh, that's just my opinion, but, like, sometimes I'll get, like, oh, w like, what about this, or is this that, and I'm, like, hasn't this, like, been talked about a lot and already sort of put to rest and stuff? Kind of, like, um, it, like, is digital art art kind of thing. Like, I know there's, like, a select few people who do kind of think that digital art isn't art, and they're usually some, they're just some ignorant people. I don't, like, I feel like that subject has really been tackled and tackled well in the past. I don't know, whatever. Ta random tangent. <laughs> um, so, that was, that was another idea. The, um, God, what was I even talking about? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> and I think that was... I guess that was kind of it. You, like I said before, you guys will get another sketchbook video before too long as well. Oh, Inktober. Let me just bring that up. Um, I don't know if I'm participating in Inktober this year. Like, I'm really on the fence because one part of me feels kind of like it's almost a tradition at this point like I've done Inktober about 
three years in a row, I think. I think it was three. And at this point, it almost feels like it's just a part of the season. Like, October equals Inktober. And I'm like... Kind of both... Like... I have inks, and I want to use them, and I feel like I don't use them enough, and I'd kind of like to use them for Inktober, especially since I only had, like, one or two kinds of ink last year, but then I'm like, I don't know if I really have the time and the drive to do it. Like, I'd basically be doing it because I want to use my inks and because I don't want to feel left out. (laughs) Like, I know that I could just do a couple, which maybe... I'll end up doing, but I'm one of those all or nothing people where I'm like, I either do the full 30 days, 31 days, or I don't do this at all. (laughs) I mean, maybe they'll just be more simple, but even if I do do it, I guarantee you, I will not like film them all and do daily videos like I did last time. Not saying I won't film any if I do it, but I'm definitely not doing daily uploads like I did last year. No way. No, 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 no. Something I hate about Inktober, though, is how burnt out you get afterward, or at least I do. Like, after, I'll be, like, I'll be going good, going fine, and then I'll reach, like, the last week, and I'm just, like, kind of done. And then I think this is what leads to my November slump, like, November, December slump. That, and between that and the holidays, where I just kind of want to relax, I guess, which I'm going to try to not do that this year where I kind of let myself do whatever because I got in a major like bad habit slump of just doing whatever I wanted whenever I wanted um November was really tough last year I just which leads me to the sketchbook slam challenge I really want to do it Even if I only do, like, maybe, like, a half slam challenge, like, I would either do the whole thing where I did the 20 pages a day, you know, the 600 pages in one month, or I would do it over two months instead where I would be doing, I I would be doing 10 pages a day instead of 20 because, you know, a 600 page sketchbook in 60 days is not bad at all, you know, doing 10 pages a day is not bad at all. The thing is, I just wouldn't really want to set myself up for failure by trying to do 20 pages a day and then just ending up failing miserably. Like, I know that I can easily do five pages in one day. I'm like, well, okay, 10 would, I could probably do 10. It would be, it would be a challenge, but it wouldn't be impossible, I don't think, especially if I do a lot of, like, studies, draw fairly big and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, hopefully you get what I'm talking about here. Uh, the sketchbook slam challenge was created by, um, Holly Brown not too long ago. She has a video on it and I know Bailey J is currently doing it. Um, which is kind of really fun for me to, um, to watch. Like I haven't quite caught up on her vlogs yet, but there's something kind of interesting about watching people like do this really amazing task of trying to do 20 page 20 uh pages of sketching a day it just makes you want to root for them kind of thing <laughs> um so yeah that's pretty much about all I have to talk about it I tried recording this voiceover like a week ago and I just couldn't find anything to talk about but this time I have a whole bunch to ramble about I guess not anything really important but <laughs> At least I had something to talk about, I guess. (laughs) So, I do hope to have at least one other video up this month. Um, In fact, I hope to color it today. (laughs) Because I have a little bit of downtime. Like, I'm on schedule with everything that I need to do, so I might have time to color it. I'll see you guys whenever I see you. Hopefully next Tuesday, not promising, but hopefully. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.